This is the Citroen C1 EV, an electric-powered four-seater capable of speeds up to 60 miles an hour and chargeable from an ordinary domestic power point for under a pound. With its main body manufactured in the Czech Republic and its electric circuitry assembled in the UK, its makers say the EV represents a significant milestone in the evolution of environmentally responsible motoring. Uh, something like 30% of all CO2 emissions come from the private motor car. Um, uh, electric cars have no emissions at the point of use. Obviously, as we go more and more to green ele electrical gener generation, um, if you can generate electricity uh, in, a, in a green CO2 free, free way, and you've got cars not using any, uh, emitting any CO2, it makes a huge difference to the environment. The EV combines great performance, highest safety standards, and the latest technology in the form of long-lasting lithium-ion batteries. It can be charged overnight from an ordinary domestic power point, and despite the initial cost, the benefits to both the environment and the user are significant. Well, it's more expensive than petrol car uh, because the batteries are quite expensive. So it's £16,000 for the car. Um, but once you've bought the car, uh, it's, it's very low cost to run. Uh, uh, one recharge costs 90p. Uh, you don't get congestion charge, road taxes, you're exempt from road tax. And more importantly, uh, in London, you can park for free in many places. The UK government is doing much to encourage investment in electric cars. As well as waiving taxes and congestion charges, there are ongoing discussions around a possible buyer's subsidy, which could be available within two years. Most of the things that government has done is pretty positive in the fact that they've, particularly uh, in London, and the mayor's a great supporter of electric cars, we welcome that. Uh, and many of the London boroughs, so for, for instance Westminster, give you free parking and, uh, and, and charging points. A um, um, little bit uncertain about what's going to happen on the subsidy because the details haven't been granted, uh, been given yet. But we'd welcome obviously any government sub subsidy in the next few years to help people invest in electric motoring. The Electric Car Corporation believe their car is the first serious alternative to a petrol or diesel car. Driving like a petrol car and is perfect for city driving. The PLC is going full speed ahead with plans to sell some 500 electric cars over the coming 12 months, accelerating growth by up to 5,000 more during the year after. The company plans to sell the £16,850 vehicle in at least two other European countries by 2010.